Okay, so um, as some of you might not quite be there, that's fine. Um, I'm just going to try to catch up. So, uh, so again, the first thing you want to start with is by getting your number lines set up. So for the first one, um, I would care about this at negative 1. That's where it would be uh, kicking in the absolute value. And at x minus 2, it would be at 2 where the absolute value starts to kick in. So that means it's going to do something here. So there's going to be a negative sign applied when I'm on that side. Um, it's not going to do anything on this side. Um, it's going to do absolute value on this side, but not on that one. So again, these are my three regions, 1, 2, and 3. So we could put another plus sign there if it helps you see the 1, 2, 3 pieces we're going to get. But these three parts give me three equations. So the first equation is going to be applying a negative to both of the absolute values. So it's going to be negative x plus 1 plus negative x minus 2 equals to 5. And the second equation that I'm going to get, actually maybe I'll leave a little bit of room. Um, the second equation that I'm going to get is uh, when I add the, this one will be positive, so it'll just be x plus 1. And this one will be negative, so it'll be plus uh, negative x minus 2. And then finally, uh, this one when they're both positive. So positive and positive. So these are my three equations. If I collect up my like terms, I'm going to have negative 2x um, plus 1 equals 5. So negative 2x equals 4 x is equal to negative 2. So that's one of the possibilities I'll have to check. Um, over on this side, that means these numbers are going to disappear. I'm going to get 3 equals 5, which again, we're just going to reject it. There's no solution on that point. Okay? Um, and then in this one here, uh, if I add them up, I get 2x uh, minus 1 equals 5. So 2x equals 6, and x is equal to 3. So here are the two possibilities that I'm going to check, negative 2 and positive 3. So if I put them in, um, I'll rewrite the equation here just so we can see it again. So let's start by testing out this one here at negative 2. So if I put in negative 2 for x, uh, this value is going to be um, 1 plus 4 equals 5. So yep, that one is a solution. We would keep that answer. Then we would also do it down at x equals 3. That means this one is going to be 4 plus 1, which is 5. So yep, that one is also a solution. The answer is 3 or negative 2. Okay, do we want to practice another one or have you been tortured enough for the day? Or maybe I should rephrase that. If I say a word like torture, of course you're not going to have you had enough fun yet with absolute value equations? Too much fun. Too much fun, okay. So um, I know there's a couple more to practice there. If you'd like to try after school, I'll stick around. But otherwise, <laughs> I, I can't even believe I said that, but anyway. <laughs>